Hello everyone, I'm here again with another um, weekly reads um, and this week was um, an okay week. I don't have some of the books I'm going to talk about because I had to go to the library to give them back. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. The first book I finished is um, All the Rivers by Dorit Ravignan and that was my pick for Israel for the Invisible Cities this month and I didn't like it. Um, it was a sort of a love story between a girl from Israel and a boy from Palestine that lived in New York for a particular particular time. And um, yeah, basically it's a forbidden love, so it's told from the perspective of, of the, the girl or the woman. And we just follow her thoughts about the conflict between her being in love with this man and her perceptions of Palestinians and her religion and how her family is going to react. Um, and the fact that it's a temporary thing because she's there until the summer studying and then she's going back to Israel and she's, she says like, I'm never going to be with you again. Um, and I just didn't like it because it was very surface level in the um, discussion of the conflict, but also she's such a privileged woman that treats him so badly. He's so nice to her and I did not see the chemistry in, in between them because he is so nice and then she's so toxic and I didn't see that love happening and I didn't see any of the things I was supposed to believe and I just didn't didn't like the whole discussion that it came up with. Uh, I thought it was, yeah, it was not great. So I, I would not recommend that book. Um, but yeah, I, I did. I was not expecting to love it, but um, I have already read several of the books of Israel that I would have chosen otherwise, like um, Amos Oz or like the what's the name of the book? The a, War, a horse walks into a bar. The one that won the International Booker. I hated that book as well. So maybe Israeli literature is not for me. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't like this book. Um, the other one I finished is The Pool of the Stars by Madonna Hugh and this is a book about a hospital ward in in, um, in Ireland in the 1918 I think. Um, so basically there is the First World War happening, there is the um, pandemic happening and people are poor obviously and well, I don't know if it's the First World War or like the Independence War. There is trouble. Their troubles are there as well, and um, yeah, the, um, the the story focuses on three women. So uh, there is the the nurse in in this ward that takes care of pregnant women that have the virus, the flu, um, and tries to help them to give birth despite. <laughs> the virus because it complicates things a lot um, and then there is uh, two women connected to her the first one is the doctor in the ward the OBGYN um, of, of the ward who is also a head of a certain movement in the travels um, and then there is another girl that just started working there um, as a helper so like giving messages around and stuff in the world and even though there is some sort of uh, a plot in this book it's mostly about the characters and the relationship between the characters and how they they develop it's it happens in a very short amount of time like three four days and you see how these relationships develop and how they change and i thought it was very interesting um especially now um, with the pandemic and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was very interesting. I, I thought that the writing was sometimes a bit overwritten, but over, overall quite beautiful. I don't think it was anything surprising. Like there were things that happened, but they were not, I'm not sure if they were supposed to be huge plot twists, but um, I think you could see them coming quite easily. And I don't think that was the point of the book. Um, and yeah, I think that that, that build-up of the relationships was quite nice. I, I quite like that one. Um, and yeah, I think that if you liked Hamnet, probably you will like this too. 
um, it's that kind of book, I guess. Um, so yeah, I quite liked it. Um, again, this is something that it's supposed to touch on your emotions more than, than your thoughts, although it also touches on your thoughts. Um, so it's not my favorite kind of book, but I still enjoyed it and I will still recommend it to people that, as I said, like things like Hamlet, Hamlet by Maggie Farrell. And then the last thing I finished, I just finished this morning, is Heretic by Ayan Hershey Ali. And, and this one is an uh, interesting one to talk about. It's a non-fiction um, about uh, Muslim reform, um, the reform of Islam as a religion. Because uh, the author makes a point that Islam, at the current interpretation, is often violent and even though it claims to be a peaceful religion and many people are peaceful, many Muslims are peaceful and they want to be peaceful, um, the current interpretations of Quran in many Islamic communities are, are very literal and there is a lot of violence in this um, religious text and if you take them literally that translates into a lot of violence uh, so she is calling for a reform of Islam so that that literal um, that literal interpretation of the of the book can be changed so that um, human rights are over religion in the Islamic world in a way at least that's what I took from it and um, yeah I didn't agree with all of the things that she said in this book but I found it quite confronting and quite quite new in the Western world to think about Islam this way because she also makes the point that in the West we are so scared of making any any criticism of the religion because then we will be perceived as Islamophobic that the self-criticism of Islam has been completely removed and she argues that that's not a good thing and we should start criticizing Islam not from a place of we should get rid of Islam but from a place of we should reform it so that these things get better within Islamic communities um, so yeah I, I, I didn't had not heard things like that so often um, and I, I think it was quite interesting and opened my eyes to a lot of things so I'm happy that I read this even though I didn't agree with absolutely everything she said and I think also I don't know enough about Islamic communities and like the the, the culture within um, mosques and imams and all that to have a very strong opinion about what she said if it was true or not true I haven't heard enough enough perspectives on this topic of Islam reformation to have a strong opinion but I think this was a, a an interesting first touch into that topic and I would be interested to read more of that I think so yeah I, I quite like this one and then I am reading um, A Suitable Boy by Bikram Seth, The Chunker I have only read 50 pages or so and I'm supposed to, I'm already reading this with Loren, uh, Jotsna and Ash uh, and I'm supposed to be at the end of uh, the second chapter, the second part by the end of today. I'm probably not going to manage because it's like I need to read this much which is a hundred and something pages I think. Um, but I'm gonna try to read as much of it as I can today. Um, and I am liking it. Uh, Lauren said that it read a bit like a glorified soap opera and I kind of agree with that. Uh, so far we are just following, following this family um, and the youngest daughter that is not married and she's kind of a rebel uh, but the mother wants to find um, a good suitable boy for her as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we are at the moment and I'm enjoying it. It's very fast-paced It's a lot easier to read than I expected. So it's a lot less intimidating now, even if it's uh, huge um, It feels a lot less intimidating because I I know that the writing style is is quite easy to read even though there are a lot of characters, but there is also a family tree at the beginning which is going to help me a lot it's already been very helpful 
Um, and that's the only thing I think it's going to be the hardest part to follow who everyone is. But other than that, it reads very easy and I'm really enjoying it. It's very immersive as well. So I will continue with that um, this week. I'm probably not going to, well, I'm for sure not going to finish it, but I'm just continuing with that. And in terms of what I am planning to read, apart from A Suitable Boy, um, I'm still doing my Invisible Cities um, reading. I'm, I'm hoping to finish it next week. We will see how I go. Um, but yeah, for Ethiopia, I want to read All Our Names by Dino Mengeste, um, which is about um, a boy, I think an Ethiopian boy in Uganda that goes to the United States, something like that. Um, the author is Ethiopian, but the book is supposed to be in Uganda, so it's a bit confusing. The other book I'm reading for Panama is uh, The Golden Horse or El Caballo de Oro by Juan David Morgan. And as far as I know, this one is um, about the construction of the Panama Canal and that time within the country. Um, I think it's in English as well. I mean, I'm reading it in Spanish, but I think it exists in English. So if you're looking for a Panama book for your invisible cities, that might be a good pick. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that, as I said before, I went to the library and of course I came back with some books. I took three books out. The first one is Babel by Gaston Dorin and this is uh, in Dutch and it's about the 20 most spoken languages in the world. Um, and yeah, just basically differences and similarities as far as I understand, um, which it sounds very interesting to me. And the next one I, I picked up is The Parisian by Isabella Hamad, which I heard a brown girl reading talk about this very positively, and I think it's about an Algerian woman in Paris, if I'm not mistaken. And it just sounds quite interesting, and even though it's quite big, I was interested in it, and I want to read it. And the last one I picked up is Arène by Negar Javadi, and this is in French. Uh, Negar Javadi is an Iranian French author, and I read or Disoriental by her, and I loved it last year. Um, and Lorraine told me that this existed, and I found it in my library, and I could not not pick it up. I don't know what it is about, but the fact that this way Negar Javadi just made me pick it up. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, so yeah, those are all the books I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have read any of the books I'm, I'm reading and I have read and what your thoughts on them were. Um, let me know if you have read A Sweet Old Boy and what you thought about it. Um, and until next video, bye!